happy. Est-ce qu'on peut applaudir et lancer des cris de joie? Gloire, alléluia. Gloire à Dieu. Gloire à Dieu. Éternel notre Dieu, nous voulons te remercier, nous voulons te bénir, nous voulons t'honorer, Seigneur, pour ce jour, pour cette occasion que tu nous donnes de nous retrouver dans ta maison, dans ta présence, que toute la gloire revienne à toi, que la louange et la bénédiction soient à toi. Que le sang précieux de Jésus nous couvre et nous purifie et que nous puissions nous approcher de ta présence avec assurance. Que tu nous diriges du début à la fin et que toute la gloire soit à toi à jamais dans le merveilleux nom de Jésus, notre Seigneur et Sauveur. Nous avons prié. Amen. So, welcome to everybody. Welcome those who Uh, watching online, we are happy to be in the house of the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord, and uh, we are going to uh, give glory to our God, to praise our God, to uh, rejoice before our God. Are we ready? Are we ready? Amen. I'm worshiping. joy and a pleasure to be in the house of the Lord. So if somebody agrees with me today, I want you all to stand up. But just don't, don't stand up anyway. Stand up powerfully because the Lord is calling you this morning. Amen? Amen. Let's all make our hearts ready to celebrate and praise our Lord this morning because he is worthy. He is deserving for all that he's doing, all he's done, and he's continuing to
Yeah. 
Alléluia. Oh Jésus, béni soit ton sein, oh Jésus. Alléluia. Voilà pourquoi nous sommes là pour te laisser. Nous sommes là pour t'exalter. Nous sommes là pour notre sauveur. Tout l'univers crié par ton pouvoir. Les ciels d'Asie, les éclairs, les tonneurs, les clairs matins où les ombres du soir. Dieu Tout-Puissant, comme mon cœur considère tout l'univers créé par ton pouvoir, les ciels d'Asie, les éclairs, les tonneurs, les où les ombres du soir que tout mon âme Hallelujah. Yes, the Lord is great. The Lord is good. The 
Lord is powerful. Hallelujah. Glory be to his name. Glory be to his name. Hallelujah. 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 Est-ce qu'on peut applaudir vraiment pour le Seigneur? Est-ce qu'on peut crier de joie? La Bible dit crier de joie. Crier de joie devant le Seigneur des Seigneurs. Yes, Lord. We give you glory. We thank you, Jesus. For you are great. Amen. Amen. We can sit a little bit. Just sit down a little bit. Amen. This is a great Sunday. Amen. A great Sunday, as we know. Our Lord is great. And he does great things. Amen. So today, we have a special celebration. Because you are going to dedicate a child unto the Lord. Amen. Amen. Can you hear amen? Where should be? I'm gonna, you're going to have Ellen. Can you just uh, say hello? So we can pray. Okay. Can, can you play this song? You know this? Na, 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 na.
the miracle is the God of miracles. Amen. He does miracles. We see a, a, a woman, then she's pregnant, and after nine years, nine months, we got a child. Hallelujah. Only God can do it. Amen. I would like to call up Papa Loti and Mama, uh, Mama Titi, but uh, I want Mama Pastor to take the baby believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And as they come, let's have a joyful song. As they come. As they come. Amen. And the mama, is qu'on peut accompagner notre, notre couple? On peut accompagner la famille. Comme ils s'approchent, bénir le nom de Dieu. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Il 
happy today. Amen. Because we can now uh, introduce or dedicate the child to God. The child has gave us has given us a lot of joy. Amen. Because it's the God's answer to our prayer. Hallelujah. God is the one that our tears. Hallelujah. So we give glory to God, and this is a good an opportunity and a joy for us to dedicate each other unto the Lord from whom he has come from. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give glory to God. Bye-bye. We are going to read um, a verse in, uh, no, we are going to read something in uh, Psalm 127. We are going just to read the verse 3. Psalm 127. Three. Very important. Children are an heritage from God. Les enfants sont une récompense. Children are a reward. Alors les enfants sont une récompense de l'Éternel. Children are a reward from God. Les enfants ne sont ne viennent pas par nos propres efforts. Children don't come from our own effort. Say that children are a reward from God. Le fruit de nos entrailles. Fruit of our womb. Ça vient de l'Éternel. Come from the Lord. Quand l'Éternel donne. When the Lord gives. Nous devons lui rendre grâce. We have to thank him. Et nous devons venir lui présenter ses enfants. And we have to come and dedicate those parce, parce children. Que ça vient de l'Éternel. Because they come from the Lord. Quand Eve a conçu, when Eve conceived, il a dit, j'ai eu un enfant à la puissance de l'Éternel. He said, I conceived through the virtue of the Lord. Alors cet enfant qui est un miracle pour nous, and the children who is a miracle nous le for us, nous le présentons à celui qui l'a donné. We want to dedicate him to the one who gave him. Quand vous avez des enfants dans vos familles, when you have children in your family, il faut toujours dire que Dieu a jeté un regard favorable sur vous. You have to say, oh, the Lord has looked uh, mercifully upon me. Voilà pourquoi, me. pourquoi les enfants sont un don de l'Éternel. That's why children are a gift from God. Voilà pourquoi nous devons le éduquer selon les conseils de Dieu. That's why we have to train them according to the, the, the counsel of God. Nous devons être sévères pour les éduquer. We need to be hard on them for they train. Pour leur apprendre la voie de Dieu. To show them 
the way of the Lord. Y le fait concevoir. He is the one who made people conceive. Et il fait naître. And he is the one who made them to be born. A lui seul soit la gloire. To him and him alone be the glory. A lui seul soit la gloire. To him alone be the glory. Cet enfant sera béni. His children, the child shall be blessed. Nous la remettons à celui qui garde mieux. And we are going to commend him to the one who is able to keep faith. Si l'Éternel ne veille sur la ville. If the Lord is not watching over a city. C'est qu'il veille, veille en vain. It is in vain that people are watching. C'est l'Éternel qui va veiller sur cette enfant. It's enfants. the Lord who's going to watch over the child. Et nous allons prier pour qu'il donne sagesse et l'intelligence aux parents. We are going to pray so that we're going to give wisdom to the parents. En priant pour ces couples. When we pray for this couple. Sauvez le nom de tous les couples qui attendent encore un enfant. Let's uh, remember all the couples that are still waiting for a child. Toutes ces femmes qui pleurent the, jour all et those chaque mois. Women cry every month. Quand ils voient encore leur règle. And when pleurent. they see the period again. Recommandons cette femme au Seigneur. So let's uh, commit uh, those uh, white women and law. Que Dieu soit béni. And may God be blessed. The baby got up. Uh, uh, what is his name again? Believe. Believe. Hallelujah. Amen. What a beautiful name. Believe. Believe that God is going to do something in your situation. Believe. I think Mama Titi said, I believe the Lord. Hallelujah. And every time that she's going to call her a child and say, believe, she will remember that I got to believe. Amen. So today is the day that we want to dedicate, believe, Ilunga, unto the Lord. Papa, do you want to uh, dedicate your child to the Lord so that the Lord is going to keep him, the Lord is going to take care of him? And are you willing to train him in the ways of the Lord. Hallelujah. Est-ce qu'on peut applaudir? Amen. In Africa, they say that uh, it takes a village to train a child. Hallelujah. So it takes a church, the whole congregation, to raise a child. So I want to ask the congregation, are we going to take up that, that task to take care, to train, to give a good example so that belief can follow and uh, when it grow up, we're going to walk in the way of God? Can I hear amen? amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God. We bless the name of God. And we are going to pray for we are going to pray for the baby believe Ilunga hallelujah We're going to pray, and uh, after you pray, we are going to anoint the, the baby the with the oil to say that he's sealed to God. Amen. 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 Amen.
C'est un bon signe, l'enfant est en train, le bébé est en train de pleurer, parce qu'à la sortie, quand il est venu dans ce monde, il a pleuré. C'est un bon signe, ça, pour montrer que je suis vivant. Seigneur, ce que tu as donné, personne d'autre ne peut te donner. C'est une récompense comme nous venons de le lire. Et cette récompense, nous te disons grandement merci. C'est toi qui as donné, c'est toi qui protèges. Que cet enfant soit protégé contre toutes les flèches enflammées du malin. Qu'il grandisse dans la sagesse, dans la stature, dans la crainte de ton nom. Donne à ses parents de l'intelligence et de la sagesse pour pouvoir éduquer cet enfant avec ton conseil. Sois béni, sois protégé, petit enfant. Sois protégé. Que le sang de Jésus-Christ te couvre tout au long de ta vie sur cette terre. Amen. Merci Seigneur pour ton amour. Merci Seigneur pour cette bénédiction. Reçois nos remerciements et merci d'avoir gardé cet enfant et de tu le garderas jusqu'à ton retour. Nous l'avons prié dans le beau nom de Jésus-Christ qui est notre Seigneur. Merci Seigneur. Alléluia.
Amen. Thank you, worship team. the beginning. Amen. Great are things to come. Amen. 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 Because of goodness of God. Can you please raise my volume a little bit? I need, okay. Can you raise my volume? Thank you. So God is good. Amen. And all the time, God is good. God is good. And all the time, God is good. And all the time, I just say it's just the beginning. The Lord never changed. As we sang on the beginning, He led the man. Hallelujah. Dieu est toujours le man. Il ne change pas. C'est à nous de changer pour voir la gloire de Dieu. If you will change, if you get up of our old lifestyle, we'll see the glory of God. You see the glory of God if you put all your trust in God. If you have faith in God, you will see his glory. Hallelujah. Today is a great day. And uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about having faith in God. God never disappoints those who put his faith in. Devil will tell you it's no longer possible. The devil will tell you those in the same situation like you will defend. The devil will whisper to your ear that it's no longer going to work because you've been trying many years already. But if you have faith in your father, I like to call God my father because he is my father. He's the one who provides to me what no one else can do. And if we put our trust in him in any situation, because you are a child of God, but it doesn't mean things may not come our way. Sometimes things will come your way so you can experience again the goodness of God. Things can come your way to renew your mind in how to worship God. Things can come your way to wake you up from your bed. Things can come your way so you can have another opportunity to praise God. To worship God. Bless you are if God give us opportunity to worship Him. Bless you are if God give us opportunity to praise Him. Like we just praise God now for baby believe. God has moved money in our midst and we praise Him. You praise God today for the situation. Maybe another one can show up again. God will tell you. It's another way to praise me and to worship him again. So, if 
you are going through some situation, if you are going through some pain, God Almighty has the answer for you. Just put all your trust in him. Not only today, not only for one day, not only for one week. If I tell the example of Mama Titi and Papa Loti, it's now you put your trust in God, and now that you have the baby that you're going to drop. No. You got to continuously having faith in God in everything. Because today, it might be you are in the need of child. And maybe your faith was directing, your prayer was only directing on uh, to have a baby. But you don't know what may come your way tomorrow. But if you have somebody faithful, somebody who put your faith in God in everything, no matter what coming your way, God will show up and deliver you. Amen. Somebody might be in a situation that the devil may tell you it's too, it's too much for you. You're too old to get married. Look, people of your age, they already get married. They've been having children already. But you don't even have a husband, you don't even have a wife yet, it's never late for God to show up in your life. You may be going through some health situation. Hallelujah. You put your faith in God. God will never disappoint you. God is the healer. He will heal you. He will deliver you. Not only for you, but for his name's sake. So his name will be glorified. So shame won't be upon you. If his shame is upon you, if he doesn't respond to your prayer, it's a repetition that is in your body. God is not going to let that go. He'll always do it for you. But it's for us to have a laughter of somebody who has faith in God. God never changed. But if you are here this morning, and you are in a situation Look a little bit. Go, look, go back a little bit. Check your faith in God. It's not, it may not be easy sometimes, but you have to hold on. Faith means holding on. Faith means what? Patient. If you have faith, you will be patient. Waiting for God. It's not for God. I want it right now. I want it today. For those who say, I want it right now, I want it today, they don't have faith. I want it, but I want it at God's times. And God will do it. Hallelujah. We're going to read the word of God in the book of Ephesians. Let's open our Bible in Ephesians 5. Ephesians 5, we are going to read from verse 14 to verse 18. That's going to be the main passage of my exhortation today. As I pray that God speak through me to his people, myself included. I love the art of repetition. Because if God saying the same thing over and over, when is the word of God? It makes impact. I can hear the same word of God today, tomorrow, the entire year. If God allow it, it's for a purpose. Hallelujah. Amen. Ephesians 5, I remember my last preaching for the, end, uh, for the end of the year was one of the passages we used. I'm coming back on it because the Lord has put on my heart that he want wise children. Hallelujah. Wise children. Not only knowledgeable children, but wise children. Knowledgeable children, 
are those who just hear my word, but they don't put it in application. But wise children are those who hear my word and apply it to their life. We just dedicate baby belief to the Lord. In the book of Luke 2, the Bible when talking about Jesus, when he was born, was baby, baby boy, the time he was growing, the Bible say, Jesus was growing in stature and wisdom. Hallelujah. What we need is not only the knowledge of the word of God, but is to be wise in the word of God. And those who are wise in the word of God is those who when they hear the word of God, they apply it. They make the word of God their life style. Hallelujah. Let us read. Ephesians 14 from Ephesians, Ephesians 5 from verse 14. Wherefore he say, Awake, thou thou sleep, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give the light. See then that he walk seals comfortably, not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. And be not drunk with wine, where I in excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Hallelujah. We praise the word of God. I can be reading this verse, uh, this, this passage, meditated from January the 1st to December the 31st. Hallelujah. Because this is about my life. Hallelujah. The Bible says here, arise. It says first what? It says you that sleep, wake up. Wake up of children of God. Wake up from your bed. The, bed. the Bible is talking to us here about we Christians who come to church every Sunday. We attend every meeting of the, of the church. But we still sleeping. We are, they are considered, considered like those who are still in the bed. Last year, we hear a lot of preaching, teaching. Enough, even for some of us, to open a Bible school and teach. Some of us, you know the Bible. We read it. Even many times, from Genesis 1 to Revelation, we can, teach, we can even open a college, a university, and be teacher. We know the, know, we know the Bible. But we've still been sleepers. Hallelujah. Sleepers. Why? Because we just have the knowledge of the Bible. But when the time comes to apply, you can't apply it. And that's why you have some teachers, preachers, who never apply the word of God. The best gospel is the gospel that challenges us as children of God. The best gospel is the gospel that takes us out of our bed. Christians who just hear the word of God and don't apply it are those who are 
sleeping. And the Bible is saying here what? He said, you are a sleeper. He said what? Awake. And do what? Arise. Hallelujah. You are sleeping. But the Bible says what? Wake up. Good to wake up. It's fine to wake up. You are in your bed. You are sleeping. Then they come. You wake up. It's a good thing, right? But are you going to stay in your bed? If you stay in your bed, what can you do? You can't do anything. There's no difference between you and the one who's sleeping. You just wake up. It's good. Get up. It's another step. It's fine. But the Bible says, arise. You got to arise. You got to shine now. You got to get up your bed. Because being in the bed is a lifestyle, like I say, of those who hear the word of God don't apply it. But the Bible said, no, do what? He said, you got to get up now. And do what? And arise. And where the word of God say, and Christ shall give the light. Hallelujah. When we arise, you expose your left, your life to Christ. You accept Christ. And Christ, He's gonna open your mind of what wrong thing you are doing. How you mess with your time. How you are sinning. How you are disobeying. Because the Bible says, and the scribe shall give the light. You're going to come to identify your lack. What am I doing now and I wish I'm not, I'm not supposed to do? We are in the beginning of this year, 2022. January the first was just like yesterday. Hallelujah. The month is going to the end now. Today is the 23rd. Amen? Amen. And when Bishop decreed that we should have a 21 day of fasting, it's like yesterday, everybody said 21 day? Wow. I wish it's three days. I wish it's seven days. 21 day was so long for some of us. Am I right? But it's done today. It seems like it just go fast. That's the same way the year is going to go fast too. It's going to go fast. February is over there in the corner. But I want it's going to continue to be sleeping like we slept last year. Are you going to be continue to be in the bed last night? It goes so fast. Did you identify your lack? Did you bring your lack during those 41, 21 days that you just end in the fasting? Did you bring some burden before the Lord? Because only Christ can, light can open and show you openly your lack. What you need. And the Bible says here, you got to arrive before Christ can shine upon you. That's a decision you should make. It's a self-initiated decision that can bring something, a change into your life. Nobody can bring that change into your life by yourself. Because if you will wake up in your bed, you wake up. To get up your bed, you got to make a decision, I got to get up now. Sometimes when we wake up, you're in the bed, we feel tired. Getting up is hard. But you look on the time, I got to go to work. I look, right? I got to go to work. I'm not going to be here. 
And what? Suddenly, you make a decision. I can't get up. You cannot get up and arise if you don't make a decision. I pray that this year be a year of decision. You're going to need to, we're going to make the decision. To not be only knowledgeable Christian, but wise Christian. Can we see decision? Can we say decision? This is my year of decision. Look a little bit what's been lacking in your life. It might be prayer. You don't pray anymore. Coming to church, you don't come to church. Reading the Bible, you don't read the Bible. Fasting, you don't fast. Sin, you please in the sin. The Bible says, the sin you are living in. You cannot get out of that sin. If you don't bring yourself unto the Lord Jesus, truly. He said, wherefore, he said, no, verse 15, he said, see then that you walk circumspectly, not as fool, but as wise. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Verse 17. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding that the will of the Lord is. Hallelujah. He said, Be not foolish. Foolishness here yeah, means those who hear the word of God but never apply it to their life. That is the knowledge. Knowledge is good. Not hear the word of God is good. Studying the word of God is good. Applying the word of God, application of your knowledge is what gives you wisdom. Well, for you a Christian, come to church for years, give your life to Christ, and cannot find yourself living in the word of God. Because when you are in a situation that challenge you, the word of God will be there also. In a situation, what's going to happen? Sometimes the devil is going to come to you and show you good things. Hallelujah. Because the devil is knowledgeable too. The devil is knowledgeable. But it's not wise. Like we're supposed to be. The only way we can overcome the works of the devil is when we use our wisdom from the Lord. The devil knows the Bible. But for you and I, he cannot apply because God doesn't give the devil this predestination this seed to apply the word of God. He can know it, but he cannot be wise. Reason why we need wisdom. If you are like, you know the way you don't apply, you are like, uh, like I said, the devil knows good things. It's like a doctor. He said, a smoking doctor. He's a doctor. But he smoke. He know that smoking is not good. He know what seed, when, when the nicotine can do, it mess up, damage your organ inside of you. But he smoke. He know wise. Not everything that is good is right before God. The devil will not tell you it's good. Eating is good, right? Eating is good. Food are good. 
Hallelujah. God put the, uh, Adam, Adam and Eve in the garden. Right? He said, I allow you to eat all the fruits. Everything in this garden is good to eat. Hallelujah. But they said, this particular fruit, you should eat it. You think you eat all, but this particular one, you cannot eat it. Not everything that is good, that is right before God. This is what the Bible says here. Do not be fooled.
Your life may be seen like you have no more hope. But when we have the wisdom of God, you know that we have to believe in Him. If Satan were wise, he should tempt Jesus. He should tempt him. Because you should know that Jesus has wisdom. And he cannot overcome. He cannot push the wise man into sin. He should have known that. Hallelujah. If the king know was why, he should put Daniel into the lion den. There's a difference between Daniel and the king. The difference that the king know that Daniel worship God. That's why I say. I want you to bow before me, not before your God. Because he know that Daniel trusts God. Daniel know God. He worship God. But he doesn't know that there is wisdom in him, which is the faith Daniel has in God. You cannot experience that faith if you don't have the wisdom of God. And it's what we need. Hallelujah. And we can have it if it not arise. Get up from your bed. Get up from your sleeping lifestyle. A sleeping Christian who just hear the word but never apply it. Who don't make any effort to bring this, the, the word of God into his life. Who don't depend on the word of because depending on the word of God is uh, the expression, the demonstration of having faith in God. It's a demonstration of our limitation that only God can do it. And what God is calling us for for this year, I'm saying again, Because during the entire year, I'm going to refer to the year. Because we don't want to be surprised. We don't want to be at the end of the year and be surprised that we didn't do it. And when we'll be in 2023, we're going continuously to come back again like we did not do anything in the year. We got to be decision makers for this year. That my lifestyle got to change. I got to be relying now on God. Like Daniel was relying on God. And that is your wisdom. That is show you know God. That show you apply the word of God. I don't want to be like a, a foolish person anymore because the Bible is saying here, do not be foolish. The wisdom of God will give you, will help you to obey God. We say that obedience is more than sacrifice. It's true. Obeying the God, the word of God is better than coming to church and playing all those kind of instruments. Obedience is better than singing in the choir. You can sing, everybody can applaud. Oh, you got a good voice, you got a good voice. Everybody can applaud. People can fall down. You can pray and people fall down. But obedience to God is better than that. Obedience to God is even better than preaching on the pulpit. On, on the pulpit. Obedience to God is better than teaching in the Bible University. But we cannot obey God if you don't have faith in God. If you can trust Him that He can do it. And so I would determine your lifestyle. Will determine that you arrive. And Christ is shining upon you. 
Hallelujah. I'm going to conclude. Today, we experience what was is the goodness of God through this baby we dedicate to God today. I want all of us to live a faithful life. There's nothing God can not do. The same God who has done it for Daniel. The same God has done it for Paul, Joseph, who has married more in the ministry of John or the apostle. The same God has done miracle, a lot of miracle through Lord Jesus. is the same God is our Father. Let us rely totally on him, completely on God. Let us care for this year and let us surrender our life completely to the Lord. Christ is the light. His light is supposed to shine upon our life. May God Almighty be our helper. So we don't live sleepless lifestyle but those who wake up arise and seeking the wisdom of God that deliver. Hallelujah. I'm going to say this. God has performed a great miracle also in our midst. I just want to announce that uh, next month uh, on February the 20th, Papa Joseph is going to celebrate his uh, seven year. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He will be seven next month. And he want to celebrate it. But the church, we know what Maritim the Lord has done for us through Papa Joseph. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God has performed a miracle. And we, we can testify everywhere we go around the world. Because we hear some, but we have seen it with our, our eyes. What God has done. It's not only for, it's not for him, in fact, but it's for the congregation. It's for the church. It's for the body of Christ. And it's for the glory of God. God will heal. God said there's nothing he can, there's no, nothing, no situ, health situation he cannot heal. He'll do it. Anybody feel sick in his body? The same God who has done it for Father Joseph will do it. Reason why he's serving, he's going to celebrate it. We want to celebrate as a church. Amen. And come together and say, thank you God for the life you have given to Papa Joseph. You have done it for us. And the same way he's a servant, I don't know if someone is serving in the congregation not by him, that God give us the same blessing so we can reach this age. And even go beyond that because our prayer for him is that he go beyond, beyond, beyond serving him. If you will be 100 years old, 152, God is poor, he can do it. So God can do it for us too. So we want to, as a church, accompany him. Come to God. Say, you have done it for us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's not get preparing to be joyful. Amen. Amen. To be joyful. God who gives children is God who heal. Is God who give years. Who multiply years. Because we know long life satisfy. That God give also long life as a gift to Papa Joseph. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's keep it in mind that we're going to be with him to celebrate the goodness of God. Amen. Amen. It's also that having faith in God. Hallelujah. Amen. May God bless us and may the Holy Spirit continue to minister to us even though we leave this place and may Jesus shine upon us all the days of our life. Amen.
God bless us.
so as to have the revenge. Give the scare, put here, which you win, give me your win, and uh, I, I will do the calculation and uh, reward secretly those who want. Amen. Okay, I think uh, uh, worship team next Sunday we go out. I think you already have the place where we are going to go to eat. So thank you for all the sacrifice you make and you contribute to make. But after that, I want you to make more. Hallelujah. More sacrifice for the glory of God. Amen. Okay. Any birthday? Anybody has a birthday? Okay, we got Addison. Addison, birthday. Worship. Worship team, please come. We prepare our, our for our uh, uh, angel. Mono also. Birthday. Okay. So let's prepare our time and offering. Uh, as I always say, uh, let's give our time not according to the law. Let's give our time according to grace. Amen. What do you like? You feel like you're so happy to give to you, God. To thank him for what he's done for you. Do it with a cheerful heart. Not do it with a constraint to do it because they're forcing you to do it because you want God to bless you. You give. God will do his part. Hallelujah. He can give you even more than you think, more than you expect, more than you, you, you ask. But let's give with a cheerful heart. Amen? What I want to say we got a lot of need in the church. This place cost us almost $4,000 a month. That's too much money. 4000 every month to keep this place. So think about it and uh, let's participate. Be cheerful, give, and the Lord knows what he can do for you. Amen. So we got birthday for Harrison, for Angel, and Nono. Thank you.
and let's rejoice before God. Amen. In, uh, in just uh, I want one thing is I want you to learn the song. Is, uh, you know, people, sometimes we got to rejoice. Just think happy before God because of what God has done for us. Amen. And be jo joyful. There's a song that we learn in, is in, in God. That song says, look Jesus, what you have done, how you have changed me, how you have, uh, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, how you did great thing in my life for me. So, uh, you are happy yourself of what Jesus has done, and you go there, oh, yes, so you, that I think you could be singer, oh, yes, so you. 
Father, we thank you all for this moment. We thank you for the offering. We want you to bless them because of the one power of forgiveness. And we commit the rest of the day onto your hands and the, the week that will start in tomorrow. Keep us and bless everything we do and your name we have prayed. Amen. 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 So we're going to pray to uh, end officially the fasting. Amen. So I mean you, the Fidu, uh, we thank God for everything. So Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we thank you for the strength that you gave us to go through this fasting. We thank you for our prayer that we have uh, um, offered up to you during this time. We want to praise you because we know that uh, since the first day that we resolve to seek you in fasting, the same way you did for Daniel, Lord, you have done also for us. So we trust you and we bless you. We thank you and we praise you for all this answers that we are going to receive from now on. Bless be your name. Glory be to your name, O oh Lord. You have been our strength. You have been our life. We, you have been our mediator. And you have brought all our prayer, our request, unto the Father. And Lord, to you and by the Holy Spirit, we expect to receive great and great and great things in our life, in our church, in our family, in our ministries in our work, and in all situations. You never change. You never change, oh God. Oh, glory be to you. And as we end this fast, before you, Lord, we pray that the benefits that you have bestowed upon us through this, will remain for the glory of your name. Stand up, O oh God. Stand up and lead us and live your life through us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. The people of God say, Amen.
of our Lord Jesus Christ. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us. And the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us. For we know that in all things. For we know that in all things. We are more than conquerors. We are more than conquerors. In Jesus' name. Amen.